number four is okay part uh, no that's five question number five is in this question you must show all the stages of your working solutions relying on calculator technology are not acceptable so yeah you cannot use the calculator here like for each step uh, the line l1 has the equation let's just write it there so this is the equation for the line one that is x minus 2y plus 25 is equals to 0 okay the line 2 passes through the origin and is perpendicular to the line 1 okay you know one thing when two lines are perpendicular to each other their gradients are negative reciprocal of each other two okay so if this is the line 1 and line 2 are perpendicular so you can get the gradient for the line 2 as well let's get the gradient for the line 1 by the formula y equals mx plus c okay so you have to move minus 2y to the other side that becomes x plus 25 and you move minus 2y to the other side that just gets you negative uh, positive 2y now you divide both sides by 2 so your y is then gonna be a half of x okay separate the 2's here and plus 25 over 2 so what's the gradient the constant along with the x is your gradient for the line 1 so gradient for the line 1 is 1 by 2 if the gradient for the line 1 is 1 by 2 the gradient for the line 2 will be negative 2 you you know you flip it over and change the sign it was positive you made it ne you made it negative negative and you flip it over that become 2 by 1 which means that's just true okay so you got the gradient at least for the line 2 and you have a point also through which the line 2 is passing and that's the origin so to form the equation of the line you need two things the gradient and the point and you have both now so we can form the equation for the line 2 equation of line 2 is that is going to be y equals mx plus c since we know the point is 0 0 and gradient is negative 2 let's just replace these things in it replace your x with 0 and y with 0 the point lies on the line so you can substitute the coordinates of the point into the equation of the line okay so 0 equals m is negative 2 times x is 0 plus c so 0 equals negative times 0 i mean 0 times anything will be 0 plus c so c is 0 here okay so you just replace back the value of c and gradient into the general line equation which is y equals mx plus c so you know m is negative 2 and c is 0 so we write y equals negative 2x plus 0 so the equation for the required line 2 is minus 2x okay equation of line 2 here it is so part a is done and now Part B is the line L1 and L2 intersect at the point P. So both of the lines are intersecting at the point P. Let's say if that's the line 1, the line 2 will be perpendicular to the line 1. And this is the point where they both are intersecting. So this is going to be the point of intersection P here. Okay, and we have to find the coordinates of P. So we know that in order to find the point of intersection, you substitute the y's of both equations equal so let's check the line 1 your line 1 is x minus 2 y plus 25 equals to 0 or you can take this one you know we already simplified it y equals a half of x plus 25 by 2 and this y y equals negative 2x this is line 2 and here's your line 1 we are gonna keep both of these y equal to find uh, to find the point of intersection so it will be a half of x plus 25 by 2 equals to the other y uh, which is negative 2x so i kept both of the lines um, equal to each other in order to find the point of intersection okay so this negative 2x i'll bring it here uh, that becomes plus 2x and uh, positive 25 by 2 on the other side becomes negative 25 by 2 a half plus 2 will become 4 plus 1 5 by 2x equals to negative 25 by 2 um, 
these are two equations and you have same denominator so you can cut them out like that okay now uh, the 5 okay it's 5x equals to minus 25 you can divide both sides by 5 it becomes x is equals to minus 5 okay so you got the x coordinate of your point p which is minus 5 now to find the y you can put x value in any of the above equation so the line 2 seems too easy which is y equals to negative 2x i'll just keep y equals negative 2x and i will replace my x with negative 5 in it in my i'll get my y which is uh, positive 10 so here the coordinates of the point of intersection for the line 1 and line 2 is which is p is negative 5 and 10 okay all right part p done now part c is and find the shortest distance from line 1 to the origin okay from line 1 to the origin if you will look at the line 1 this is the line 1 okay the gradient is a half and the y intercept is uh, 25 by 2 if i just roughly sketch it to show you guys the graphical representation here okay the line 1 is um, 25 by 2 for the line 1 is uh, 25 by 2 which is 12.5 uh, is the y-intercept for the line 1 and it's a positive gradient so you know the line with the positive gradient looks like that and the line with the negative gradient looks like that okay the bottom at the left side and top from the right and uh, so yeah so this is let's say 12.5 so your line will go this way okay it will cross the so this is the line one you can see right and for the line two you know line two is y equals to negative to it it has a negative gradient and zero y intercept so it will must pass through the center with the negative two gradient as i told you the negative line looks like that from top left to the bottom right okay so this is the point of intersection p you have got okay that's the line two now we have to find the if we go back to the question we have to find the shortest distance from line one to the origin okay from line one this is the line one and this is the origin you have here this is the origin oh okay zero zero shortest distance is always the perpendicular distance okay so the which you can clearly see here is to start off um, from line one this is the line one point i will take the perpendicular distance till the origin as these two lines are perpendicular to each other so this is the distance this thing distance um, which i need here to show in part c okay so we are talking about the distance so you are going to use the distance formula here for that purpose you need two points one of them is p because you are taking the shortest distance from the point p since p lies on the line one okay and you move till the origin so you have the p coordinates which are negative 5 and 10 and origin coordinates are 0 0 you know that okay so we are now going to use p to o distance and the uh, formula is root x2 minus the formula to find the distance between the two points is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square okay so i'm going to replace uh, let's say that is your x1 and y1 and here's your x2 and y2 okay i'm going to replace x and y values here which will become x2 as 0 minus x1 is minus 5 uh, so minus 5 okay whole square plus y2 which is 0 minus y1 is 10 whole square okay so that's going to be uh, minus minus plus 5 5 squared will be 25 plus minus 10 whole squared 0 minus 10 is minus 10 the square of a negative number will always be positive so that is going to be a hundred and uh, uh, 125 plus 100 will get you 125 and uh, this is going to be your p2o distance but you need to simplify that and that uh, you can just put it in the calculator like you just need to factorize it it's going to be 5 root 5 okay you can check just put it in the calculator it will give you 5 root 5 so here is the shortest distance from the line 1 to the origin okay